What's up? It's kicking it with the brothers. Your your host ML, with your co-host Charles and Dion, and we are here. The final group of the World Cup, Group H. Really excited to uh, be able to get in this. As you all know, we are we have covered all 32 teams uh, for World Cup 2022, and in this group, Group H: Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. Excellent. Some I would in fact be able to say. Maybe three of the top 10 best players in the world are in this group uh, and playing some superstars. Going to always leave it to our boys to tell us about how good they are. But first, let's uh, take it to you, Charles. Who are the two best players in this group? Uh, and after that, we'll let you dive into who's who do you like to be able to advance out of this group? Um. So two best players in the group. I'm going to go. uh your boy Freddie Valverde and Sonny, of course, the two-footed Asian god. Um, both been in good form. Obviously, Sonny's gonna have to wear the face mask, but I think the face mask is gonna only make him play better. Um, I've yet to see a superstar like role players play shitty because they don't get the cool mask, but I've yet to see um, a, an amazing athlete play bad. But the mask gives you at least two extra bonus points. Um, Portugal's not getting out of the group. Stop it. I was feeling. I was feeling. Huh? Like Mike, Michael has this. I sent this in the group chat. You both know this. You've seen the group chat last week when I said this. I was like, "Are we sure Portugal is going to get out the out the group?" And since I sent that group message last week, things have only gotten worse. Uh, they smell. They smell a little French. They, they smell like they about to have them France team dynamics. Um, France is defending champ. No, I'm talking about like what was that two two World Cups ago when France was yeah that's true. Uh, I just think like it's a, it's like a, it's we've had the Euros timing. though too, we've had the Euros as yeah. well. So I just think yeah. it's bad timing. Like maybe if they had like a, a longer uh, one of the times like, I'm just noticing like the, you know these short ass training camps. Um, that was like last like he just did this. Like I I just can't see and even like um, who's he? Is it is did he do something or what, what did he do? Your goat. Uh, your goat, my goat, little gla- yes, yeah, little little galactic goat. How many goat. Man U players are on Portugal? The one, yeah, just Fernandez, right? Yeah, but you're too. Yeah. Uh, they're nah, two Diaz, players. Diaz, who, who, center back, Ruben, who? ain't he on the squad? Ruben Diaz don't play on for Portugal. Uh, He's on City. He's on City. Though. He don't play for United. I thought That's you said United. City. Oh, you said Liverpool. Oh, United no, players. We should, oh, no, we're right. United players. Yeah, like My Ronaldo, fault. Ronaldo's going to bond with all the City players. This is going to bring yeah. them together. Yeah. I was like, I, I thought you said City. My fault. My fault. My apologies. This is going to bring them together. It, it, this is there's only one person that's going to be mad about this interview. I mean, that was I mean, that was Jao Casella, whose neck he was yanking on. So I don't know about that either. That could be on some other shit. Maybe some hey, female stuff because you can tell, you know what I'm saying, with his females. I'm just saying, but he's having multiple weird. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe they're just tired of hearing. Like, I, man, at a same, at a certain point, like I'm sure, like Russell Westbrook is still Russell Westbrook, but like after seven turnovers, bro, I'm not trying to hear that shit. So like, talk, talk to on the Dion. I think you got something else. I think you just called it. What's Jao Casella? The best player in this group. It's not even close. He plays left nice. back though, so it's not like a fun position. So like I feel I, I, I get why Charles left them off, but like he's the best player in the group. Second best is Bernardo Silva. Also, I need them to win this group and make a deep run. I don't know if we have any ultimate team players out there, but I have Path to Glory, Bernardo Silva, who can get to a ninety five. I need that. So I got Portugal I might be Portuguese. I haven't decided yet. But um I need them to make a deep I need them to make a deep, deep run. And like bro, I, I don't know if I think the Ronaldo interview is really going to hurt Portugal. Yeah, I don't, Charles think, it's the, I don't yeah. think it's the interview. I just think he's general, like just like I said. It's to me, it's like the small. It's the, the Jao Cancelo shit is worse to me than the the Bruno shit. You know why Bruno mad at him? It's like you're just you got little shit going on with everybody. It just seemed like everybody's kind of t- like you're trying to overcompensate now for the shit you can't do on the field. And it's like at a certain point, like I feel like. The Jao Cancelo shit's a bigger deal to me. It's a bigger tell of, like, you trying to fuck around with people. And they, like, they might let you be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, nigga, I'm really better than you, bro. I was going to say, is he in the is, is he in the 11, like, for sure? Yeah. Yeah. He is. He is. Um, and that's because they're hurt. And actually, you know, when you look at the athletic, they're talking about the weaknesses. They really believe that 
right now they're not as strong as they could be. Um, and that's, I mean, obviously, unfortunately, it's because Jal Felix is not him. Never was he probably never him was, ever. Never was, never was. Um, uh, not great. Uh, Andre Silva, in terms of, uh, obviously he's for RB Leipzig, but he's just not in great form right now. Get is they're just not as great. I'm stunned, I'm stunned that Leipzig players aren't in great form. <laughs> I mean, that, that just blows me and away. I never would have guessed. Neto's injured. That, that matters as well. Um, yeah, this is their week that, the forward position is their weakest group for sure. Yo, real quick, I seen they're doing international friendlies today, and Italy's playing. Why? <laughs> I mean, Be- because they are not in the World Cup. They are not in the World. Cup. Yeah, me, I understand they're not in the World Cup, but they need to j- just stop. Like, just go home. away for a little bit. <laughs> stay home. Like you don't need to play. And I mean, we still got to talk about the fact that uh, even in this, even in this case. The team that finishes second is more than likely going to have to play Brazil in the, in the first knockout round game. That's why it's important, right? And like, okay. Ghana's not getting through. Ghana's not getting yeah. through. Yeah, no, yeah Portu- Portugal's winning the group, Charles. I don't Portugal's see how you don't group. see this. I, I don't think they'll be. I don't think they'll beat Uruguay. Why not? Y'all seen the, uh, y'all seen the I Show Speed uh, World Cup song? Mm-mm. Go watch that. You can't. Play the clip on here, but uh, listen to how he says Uruguay. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Okay, I can already Uh-oh. Tell. All right. Tell. <laughs> Say less. We yes, got you. Buddy. Uruguay. Uh, so, all right. Who are, what match are you looking to, looking forward to the most? Dion, you go first. Um, I guess Portugal, Uruguay. I think that'd be. Like winner doesn't have to play Brazil. When do they play though? I I don't really ever. I gotta check the yeah. I didn't... Yeah, like I, I feel like that depends. I think it's second. I I, I, I picked, when I did my little simulator thing. I believe it was second. Because you, you were saying on one of the groups that like the best matchup in each group is second, essentially, right? Yes. Yeah, because of the rankings of how that goes, it's to protect. Um, yeah, I guess it's I would to say protect the top two. Like because yeah. then the yeah. winner. So only they'll go. To the... <laughs> That'll be nice. That'll be on the 28th. So 2 o'clock p- p.m. Eastern, so 11 a.m. Pacific, is that what they think is like that game match of the day because uh, games are uh, 8, 10 o'clock, and 2 uh, Eastern. So um, you'll see at 8, Uruguay versus South Korea. So sunny versus right away on the Thursday. That's Thanksgiving morning, 8 a.m., uh, 5 a.m. Pacific. Lit. Lit. Yeah. Before you get your food in, uh, Portugal, Uruguay is going to be Monday at 2 p.m. Uh, so that's that slot. So a week later than um, the U.S.'s first game, it'll be literally right in that slot. And then Uruguay, Ghana on Friday, December 2nd. And and they'll play at the same time. So. Uruguay leads this this tournament in the world. And guys that you didn't know were Uruguayan. Oh, shit. He, he from Uruguay? <laughs> like that's because they all like they're the most they got, they, 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 they got a lot of white like white white looking latino uh white looking south americans so they got a lot of dudes that look like they should they could be from a, a plethora of different countries and then they're just oh shit he's from he from uruguay okay okay i did not trust me every time valverde scores a goal i had to, that's why i kept forgetting he was uruguay that that's a huge game and i'll tell you why and it's a guy that has literally been maybe the best player on y'all squad Rodrigo Bethencourt. Uh he's looking nice right now. He is a problem. I I he'll be very good in the midfield uh for them. Uh and also Torreira and see what's gonna go on him. He's just not been the same. But in terms of a front three, I mean Cavani's coming off the bench, who's still nice, but Darwin Nunez, Luis Suarez, and Federico Valverde. Your boy's a problem. You're going to the problem. Playing Suarez is like the you know, Suarez playing behind them is like the second striker is going to be. I think yeah, he's going to he's still going to be. He's not you know he's 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 getting old, but I think in in the World Cup he's still dangerous. It's yeah, still, late it's late games you it's can still, go your still, four attack. You know, there's still some teams running out Otamende. so I mean, I, I, there's a, you can get at some countries in the back line. I don't think Portugal is one of those countries. Though. That's the problem. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's right. That's right. I don't know we'll if I see. trust him at. We'll see how. I don't know if I know. trust him in the in the wipes. We'll see. And to watch Uruguay is to see how quickly uh, Big Ron comes back. If he's able to get back by the at least maybe the second or third uh, group stage game. 
Also, Charles, you love dominant midfields. I feel like Portugal is one of the most dominant. Yeah, but I just I I'm going off team dynamics and Jao Felix's ass. Like I just don't. I think they're just gonna fall. Like I don't think they're. I think Pause. they're just gonna finish second, and it could be. Um, I think, <laughs> I think they can. I think they're gonna finish second, but not because like they. I could see them just tying with Uruguay. Oh, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Just tying with Uruguay mm-hmm. and then just losing. Uh, and, and like being even on points, but like low on like goal differential or something. I just, I just think like with the way they're their whole like. They just got bad vibes going right now. Their whole, like, nothing about, you know, like, Argentina's kind of on this upswing, and it feels like they're almost building towards something. Brazil's building towards something. It seems like Portugal is, like, holding on to try to, like, to what they have. I feel like they have to win the first one. Like, no team's first game is more important than Portugal's. If they don't get three points from that first game, like, it could be an absolute disaster. Do they play first? I have no idea. But they ha- I, That's just, like, one of those things where it's, like, they play Ghana first. Okay. But I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, easily, like, Sonny can get a free kick off and, and, you know, mess up this entire group, you know, from what's that piece. So, I mean, it's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like South Korea is not going to go out there and lay down. They're going to, like, they can, they're capable of getting the point off you. We also know that, like, you're not allowed to lay down if you're Korean. Like, they will bring you back home. Just do and they, you know, something to say, they boys play hard as hell. They're gonna play to the last minute, like yeah. They, no, they don't. They don't get to just lay down. That's so not like, America where we a, like cheer like, no matter yeah, what. They will go a, home yeah. to some foul shit. against a Portuguese squad that's like <laughs> too cool for school at times. Yeah. They be playing like they too cool. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, like Korea is gonna get at Portugal. Like Portugal might score goals, but they're gonna get at them at least like pace wise and stuff. They ain't gonna be able to just do that. Jao and and Ronaldo just kicking it. <laughs> this country has won a major trophy in the last ten years, though. There's a lot of folks like the golden generation has not like the Netherlands have not like we're not counting the, you know, the qualifiers and stuff. Belgium, the like the Belgium, like the quote unquote golden generation, like we're just getting into that, though. Like that team was so young when they first like popped off on the scene. Like they, this is their first chance of like really having a shot. Who, Belgium? Nah, like, uh, 2018. How old is KDB? How old huh? is KDB? 31, maybe 32. So the last KDB. one was. The last one was. Because that's, him, when, like that's when Hazard was at his peak, though. But I'm saying Hazard was. That's true. Just, Hazard and those guys were. Who else is catching up to them, though? Who are the young Belgians that are fired? <laughs> well, they're not all young the, anymore. That's my That's point. what I'm saying. They're all the same age. They're all. So, like, when they were. I'm saying when they were all 26, 27 is when that, to me, that was their chance. I, we'll I get into them. I think yeah. this is their best shot. All right. We'll get to them. Uh, they did lose to France 1-0 in 2018 in the semis. Like, that's pretty – and they had beaten Brazil. Like, that was a huge upset. Uh, you could have you stopped talking if they lost. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how that – yeah. I, is it their best chance? All right, look. We'll get into Belgium a little bit. Uh, let's talk about uh, – the uh, let's talk about the best kits in this group. Uh, you start everything South Korean. Everything is South Korean. That black South Korea when Sonny brings out the black mask. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> right. So okay. Right. Okay. All right. Everything South Korea. Respect that. But are you rocking some South Korea stuff? Like, I might get that jersey to the man. gym. I might get. I might, yeah. You know. Well, you know my attire, man. You know, I I, I step out in that Sonny. Let him know. Okay. Okay. I'm the I'm the same person who almost bought a, a Yvonne Rackets jersey one time. So like it's 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 all on the board. I know, I know, right? Dion, who you who you who's your uh, kids you like in this group? Uh, I think they're all pretty bad, but I mean, I will say like the black on black sunny idea is kind of fire. Yeah, I'm saying he walk out against Portugal like that, they get the point. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, I mean, and they that may not matter. We'll see how the first two go. Obviously, so. When they when they play, so that's covered the group and the short stanza. Let's also lose this time before folks uh, start watching the World Cup. Obviously, we had a situation with on Sunday the leaking happened. Not sure when the uh, interview actually went down, but the leaking Cristiano, happened. nigga, they posted it. Yeah, what's that? Again? That came no straight from Piers Morgan account. Starts of the day. The yeah. Yeah. Himself. That was no but damn leak. The full interview. <laughs> <laughs> a little something on Sunday. They gave us some sprinkles. Um, oh, the sprinkles were coming from the two people a part of the interview. That ain't a leak. That's here it is. Teasers. The teasers. Yeah, best best way. 
a leak. Yeah. A, a leak is that stunt, like that stunt that the Lakers pulled about, like we might trade AD just to see what the response is around the league. That's a leak. Th- this was Cristiano Ronaldo telling you how he feels. Speaking of which, I actually think because he is so controversial, the pick to do Pierce Morgan to do it, kind of masterclass, kind of masterclass. Knowing that he is a about him. crazy yeah. dude on Twitter, he used to be on Good Morning Britain. Uh, has no he's, well, he's my guy, Arsenal fan. Uh, so big, big energy uh, towards the crown. Um, uh, and actually friends with uh the the most interesting man on Twitter. Donald J. Trump, they used to have their little battles, crazy enough. So Pierce Peer, is one for the flair. It does a really good job in interviews. But, Dion, what are you – Charles, we're going to let you close that part of it out because it, obviously Ronaldo has been a very big part of your understanding of soccer and not only not really. as a rival. Really. As a rival. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't like seeing people uh, in trouble. All he did was show me that Messi was playing the right way the entire time. That's all I learned. Okay. <laughs> a lot of oh, – okay. Oh, a lot of hindsight cool. 2020. Fine. Fine. Dion, was Cristiano wrong to do this interview? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think he said anything wrong. Like, I think everything he said is okay. facts. Like, he didn't really, you know, he didn't lie. I mean, the whole, like, facility thing, obviously, what the fuck do I know about man use facilities? But, like, if he's saying that, it has to be true. He saw it 10 years ago, right? So, like, um, you know, he mentioned the town level of Man U like, is low for their expectations. I think that's facts. Um, he said that they don't have any respect for him as a person. If that story about his daughter is true, that's facts also. Um, but, I mean, yeah, just because, like, I mean, you're a pussy for doing it and running to the World Cup. So, like, I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it. But, like, I, I don't think he said anything wrong. It's just not something you do as a professional. Well, a quick follow-up to that. If you're trying to get out of there, was this the next best move to get out of there? I'm sick of player empowerment. We got to bring back, like, the Houston Texans owner's mindset. (laughs) Charles, your thoughts on the Ronaldo interview? Was he right in doing it? No, not at all. Like, you know, I'm a big proponent of being one, just being a good teammate, two, being professional. Um, it's it's crazy just to be on this side and see how like my man PK has been able to, you know, handle his situation um, gracefully. Um, but yeah, I just don't know. Like, I'm obviously he's trying to get out of there. I just don't know. Like, in doing so, like you're you're burning every bridge that you have. Like you make. Like, I just don't think people are going to want to take on that headache. Um, so I think he's. Kind of like I, I, I know what he was going for, but I think he kind of fucked himself because I think he's gonna if he if he's like three three more arrogant moves from ending up on the Houston Dynamo. So, um, <laughs> like I'm just saying, like I don't just I just don't know where like where's his path. He's gonna have to, he's got to go. I feel like the only thing he can do now is go back to Portugal, like mm-hmm. to play in the league. Yeah, like that's like unless he comes here, like those are like his only two choices. Like I don't. Like maybe like what? Because like at the end of the day, like at this at this January window, Memphis Depay is available too. And if I'm taking like uh, uh, if I need a striker, like I'm trying to go get I go get Memphis before I go get him. Are we 100 percent sure Harry Kane isn't available too? Like I don't think Ronaldo is going to be at the top of anybody's list. And you just made it worse. Yeah. And like too, like the things he was saying, although true, like if you're a top club, like. Why would you want to bring that dude in? Like, say you're city and you walk around and you look at your facilities and you're like, are these top notch? Are they not? We're going to bring in Ronaldo next thing you know, he's fucking talking to like Tucker Carlson about how Man City hasn't upgraded their facilities in 10 years. Mm -mm. The Ronaldo Mm -mm. Tucker conversation is nuts. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I I just, I feel like you're running a risk. Like, you don't know. It's kind of like, it's, it's yeah, I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't do it myself. You're Todd Bowley, manager for, or excuse me, the owner of Chelsea. You're sitting in eighth place. 
you know, currently right now. But you know that scoring goals is just what's been keeping you all back. You're Graham Potter and you have a decision to make. You're out. Can't bring him into the club. Even if you're mid-table, which Chelsea is not used to at this time. Chelsea, obviously, they obviously, fire managers for not making the Champions League. Obviously, hmm? they're Ronaldo right now. Hmm. Um, take the quote that he said about uh, Ragnick. Take that off and then put Grand Potter's name on it. Like, I didn't even know who that guy was. I never heard of him before. That's all he's going to say about him. Right. Right. He was why, crazy and, gunner, though. And why would he play ahead of, like, Aubameyang consistently? He's better than Aubameyang, though. Is he? Yeah. Nah. He is. They're about even. Look at the stats. Uh, appearances matter. I'm talking about last year. Yeah, I mean, okay, when you're talking about the La Liga ad. So, okay. Is he ever play again for Man United? Excuse me. Is he dressed? Does he does he still have a locker boxing day for Man United? No. <laughs> no. Probably not. The answer, no. They took the money. They already took the mural down. They already like doing a little plot, man. He, you ju- do you take it? Do you send him to the crib? Even yeah. say, and then you can't sell him in January, unless he says his wages. He'll cut his wages. More I think than they half. might even do like a Barson and see if they can terminate his contract. Just give him his like letter of uh, release. You can go do whatever. Just get the fuck away. Because like, not only did he give him, I mean, at the end of the day, he gave, he gave everybody six weeks to figure out what the hell he needed, like what the hell's going on. So now his agent got six weeks to get him out of there. Yeah, that's why I think he did it. I mean, yeah. no one's gonna like. No one's paying for him. Like, how much did Man U get for him? Like, it wasn't nothing crazy. And that was a year ago when things were going fine. Right. Like, it's <laughs> it's completely turned to shit. So, like, you might so, as well just let him go. They're talking about him going back to Real, which I don't think is a great move. Because that fact, that shit I sent you yesterday about the fact that he hadn't even uh, congratulated Benzema is the most ho shit I have I have fucking heard this year. Like, I'm not I mean, happy about I deal with a lot of ho shit, but, like, he do whole shit, like real true. And I see the way that, like, it's, it's, and I'm not even trying to go on my Messi, uh, Ronaldo fucking tangent, but the way Messi's team is right. willing to, no, 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 I'm just saying, but the way Argentina rides for Messi versus what I'm seeing on this other side, it's just, I mean, you know, it's just people for what it is. The World Cup is a way of bringing everybody together, though. And that's why I think, I think everything can be right. He's never going to play for United again. Because what happens when Portugal doesn't make it out of the group, and then he, well, he's really trying, and then he's really trying to steal headlines? Then that'll be all on him. Unfortunately, now he set himself up. But all he's it takes perform. is a free kick. Or, get some fucking goals. He all it takes is a free. Goals. All it takes is a free kick or a header from one of those corner pieces, and mm-hmm. then everybody's back. And if they were to beat Uruguay, and everybody's back then too, and that's a wrap because that means then they get first place, and all six and six points is what they need. In order to I don't think any of that um, changes that he's just not what he used to be, and he, like he his mind hasn't left that, so he still thinks he's that guy, and he just hasn't he's not anymore. So like I, I, that's the issue with Ronaldo. Like I, I don't think anything that could, they they could win the whole damn World Cup, and I think when it's over, all the top clubs still aren't going to want him. They would, what they uh-huh. won the World Cup, it wouldn't be because he was the best player. <laughs> be that's that's what I'm like, saying. Like yeah. it, He's not going to make a big enough impact one way or another to where like I think the World Cup impacts. Mind you, people. mind you, mister, they won the Euros. He didn't play in that game. Well, he, got, well, he came off he, six he seconds played, into it. He got hurt. He came off six yeah. seconds into it. So. <laughs> but he got him there. You and he, got, uh, he got him there. Let's look, also, watch like the group, the, group stages. I mean, the, Euros, like, the Euros are fun. Like It's a big deal, but like... I mean, then it it's hit harder. Then it's it hit harder than you. <laughs> Fair enough. Some That's of us point. have won two of them in the last fifteen years. So mm, there you go. Well, I mean, mo- most teams that thing. win the Euros like do what? Like, I think Spain's probably the anomaly, but like you, you know, you, you, you win the Euros, you don't really do much and yeah. like follow. I know, and then they won like again. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know, right? It is crazy. Germany, I want to say like I, I want to say Germany even sent like their B squad to that shit. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they did. They were. Like a, they a couple were all teams hurt. were fucking around during that shit. I know France yeah. was fucking around. 
Brands couldn't get they, <laughs> yeah. they were fucking right, all right. <laughs> yeah, they were they were doing that. Um uh, yeah, the my last thing quick note is the Benzema Ronaldo, there's a lot of trophies that were won for with both of them. And the lack of respect or the just and maybe there's family stuff going on, but just like a quick text just to acknowledge the dude who gave you a lot of assists and actually took away goals from himself to make sure you were getting taken care of. Pause. Um I just that one that one hurts because that's not who I thought he was. But you know what is my Angelou yes, said if somebody shows the you they are <laughs> the was, I think that's well, what it was, man. Fuck? Who gives a it fuck? Matters, it matters, Dion. It matters. Yeah. It matters. Yeah. Bro, yeah. this matters. It does yeah. matter. Yeah. It does matter. He's not who I thought he was. You don't know that nigga. I don't. But what I what, what I got what I portray, bro, it is I'm gonna say this. The he club matters. Go to bed at night pretending Ronaldo was some god just to find out, oh by the way, this dude's fucking human, just like the rest of us. That's your own fault. Who gives a fuck? The club Fuck is bigger Benzema. than him, though. Fuck Benzema. Nah, nah, we ain't doing all that. Fuck Benzema. He a bitch. Why? Oh, yeah. What happened well, with France? That's on them. What? Oh, okay, well, okay, that's another. Okay. Is that? Is that? Is that another thing? What did Benzema do? Tell them what Benzema did. Uh-huh. They're, uh-huh. They're, they're guilty. Black, guilty. Blackmail guilty. charges. What did he do? Uh, streets. Your Ballon d'Or winner. What did yes. he do? What is your Ballon d'Or winner doing? Because I, I can tell you what my golden boot winner has done. Because you over here, you lose and sleep at night and crying because Ronaldo didn't text a bitch. <laughs> Congratulations. It's just a bad acknowledgement of the club. Trophies. What did he one. do? Acknowledge what he did for us. Of what he did. I'm not talking. You're talking about the criminal stuff. All of it. There's Bro, there's a reason nobody fucked with him. So, like, Facts. are we yeah. stunned that Ronaldo probably doesn't fuck with yeah. him, too? You nasty, man. It's like, well, it's like uh, yeah, Deshaun Watson won the MVP with Miles yeah. Garrett. Yeah, I don't know, man. You nasty. JJ Watt going to text Deshaun, congrats on what you did in Cleveland, big bro? Fuck no. <laughs> Yo, we can bars. This is good. <laughs> no. I think... I think that time together, I thought it was, should have been a little bit more respect. That's oh just where I'm at. That's just so <laughs> Bro, what did he? I'm about to say what he did. Hold on, let me make sure I get the words right. Fucked Rihanna. I mean, that's that's he did that too. So kudos. I do want to get that in the. I do want to get that in the five. Oh yeah. I mean, respect to that. Yeah. Seven a lot of time is Sandra Pay. Former teammate. A former teammate. He blackmailed a former teammate. Remember what this country did to D'Angelo Russell? This is worse. And you over here like, damn, bro, he didn't text him. Congratulations. Nick Young ain't texting D'Angelo shit. The, the, oddly enough, yeah, very in line with what I was, that story I was telling you earlier, falls in that. <laughs> <laughs> that type shit. We out. See ya. And M- ML probably you. wants you to text London like, yo, big bro, I'm really happy. No, him. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure we cut that. Nah, we ain't messing with London. Yeah, you know, that's the them fighting words for me. Yeah. ML lose sleep over the fact you're not texting it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, just concluded the previews of the World Cup. We, are, we will make sure we have our final predictions. We will go through the bracket uh, for you all. Uh, but in terms of the previews for the uh, oh, yeah. for the group, and you'll have some instant reactions from us uh, starting as early as Sunday. Wow! As we said, uh, Dion mentioned uh, in the first in our first group, money is on the line, and whatever Live Golf got triplet, Cutter, Qatar, whatever it may be. Uh, shout out to Louis Van Gaal talking to his stuff. That'll be an interesting game. Uh, Not hey, sure if it'll already- be. They already trying, bro. They done kicked half of the Danish media out the country already. They not playing, bro. Yeah, they, they said do the, what they have to do. Yeah, they said to pack it. Louis VG, he been uh, talking a lot. On a sidebar, I do want to give my man Hugo been spitting bars. I've been liking everything Hugo been saying. Uh, Uri, yeah. I don't go to people like I don't. They, they, they the real to captain. Up, they were trying to put a lot of stuff on my man. My man was like, "Hey, man, I don't go to people's house and do do <laughs> be on their house, not listen to house rules." Not a Tottenham uh, guy by any you stretch know, of the you means. Know what else you don't do in other folks' house if you're French. Blackmail them over a sex tape. 
You should well, apparently you do. <laughs> Only one person does. That's why they got rid of bro. He lucky to be back. You think Ronaldo texted him congrats on making it back to your national team roster? Fuck no. <laughs> he probably like, bitch, you still shouldn't be on that team. See! <laughs> that was a good